In this episode, let's talk about limiters for recording. Now, first of all, what is a limiter? A limiter is just a tool that prevents a recording from getting too loud. And what it does is it essentially squishes down the sound. <laughs> it compresses it so that the waveforms aren't too loud. This is especially important for digital audio recording because in digital, once a sound waveform gets to zero dB, the digital recorder can't record anything louder. So if a sound comes into the recorder and it's really, really loud, it'll clip. That looks something like this. And it doesn't sound good. It sounds like scratchy distortion. So when you're recording and you're using your recorder and it has a limiter, does it matter whether that limiter is analog versus digital? Well, let's have a listen to a couple of samples. Test, one, two, three, four, five. Testing the limiter on the sound device is 633. Test, one, two, three. This is the limiter on the Zoom F8. Let's see how this sounds. This is a test of the Tascam DR60D Mark II limiters. We're seeing the red light blink a little bit, so we know we're engaging the limiter. Test, one, two, three, four, five. Testing the limiter on the sound device is 633. Test, one, two, three. This is the limiter on the Zoom F8. Let's see how this sounds. We're seeing the red light blink a little bit, so we know we're engaging the limiter. So it sounds like from that, that the analog limiter did a better job. That is to say, I'm not getting any of that distortion sound. It's doing a better job mashing it down and preventing that distortion. Now, what is the difference between an analog and a digital limiter? Well, let's take a look here. This is a signal chain. What this represents is here, a sound comes into a microphone. The microphone puts out a really kind of weak analog signal called a mic level signal. That goes into a preamplifier, which amplifies it. So now it's a much louder signal called a line level signal. From there, when you're recording digitally, that analog line level signal is then sent to an analog to digital converter, which then changes it to ones and zeros and records it to some sort of storage media, whether that be SD cards, compact flash cards, drives, whatever it might be. Now, where are the limiters here? In a recorder with analog limiters, the analog limiter sits right here by the preamplifier and it takes a signal out of the preamplifier, which is again, an analog device, and it actually squishes down those peaks so that they're not so loud before the sound then goes to the analog to digital converter. And that's why these are so much more effective is because that loudness is managed before it even gets to the conversion stage. On a digital limiter, on the other hand, that loud signal already hits the analog to digital converter before it's managed. And what happens is the really large amplitude peaks are going to get clipped as they come through here. So that limiter that sits after the analog to digital converter can't save that waveform at that point. At that point, the damage is already done. Now the bad news is for filmmaking with field recorders, you really don't generally get analog limiters unless you spend quite a lot of money and you really have to buy a pro level recorder. So for example, even my Zoom F8, which we use as one of the samples here, only has a digital limiter. But don't freak out. If your recorder doesn't have an analog limiter, <laughs> this episode is really only to illustrate the difference and highlight another reason why pro gear costs so much more. So someday when you're hired to, to do the sound for the next Star Wars film or whatever, you'll have one more piece of info that qualifies you for the job and you can maybe either rent or buy a sound devices mixer for the gig and you'll have an analog limiter. In the meantime, don't go selling your recorder and saving up for sound devices necessarily, but really all you need to do is pull down your gain a little bit to give yourself plenty of headroom to avoid that clipping in the first place. So for example, I used to set my gain on my recorder so that when a person was talking and I was watching the meters, the meters would peak out at about minus 12 dB. But now, if you have a pretty decent recorder, a lot of the ones that I've reviewed previously, I think can kind of give you a guide there, I generally now aim for about minus 18 dB. So there is a quick discussion and illustration of the difference between an analog and digital limiter. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure you do that and we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.